Hey you guys, if you guys are all doing well, I'm Bella if you're new here. Today I just kind of wanted to give some unsolicited advice. I was just sitting here doing my makeup because I'm bored because I'm about to go for a shower and I actually really wanted to film some people on YouTube just where I give advice to people on like different topics and stuff like that. I did try to do it while I was doing my makeup, but then I kind of realized I can't really multitask. This is something I just I want to give you my undivided attention and really like give this to you. Today's video is for people pleasers. I feel like I'm very fortunate because I've never had the urge to be liked by a large variety of people. But I feel like that's because of my mum. Like I feel like I was raised by a very strong woman and she also like just drilled these things into my head. A lot of people don't have like a strong maternal figure or like someone who tells them what they need to hear sometimes. So I just feel like I could be that for you if you want if like you just need it i just want to give you guys advice and like my mindset on like these things and like why i don't actually struggle with it so the number one thing for me is like do you like everyone you've ever met no so how could you expect everyone who'd met you to like you i feel like i wouldn't want to be liked by everyone though i'm not for everybody and i'm okay with that like nine times out of ten when you're a people pleaser and you're just trying to be liked by everyone what ends up happening is you end up being liked by no one what happens is you're not really a person you're just kind of like mirroring everyone you've ever met to make sure that they like you no one actually ends up respecting you and no one actually cares what you have to say because everyone knows you don't actually you're not like a firm strong person who stands on what they believe in the thing is about being a people pleaser is it's very transparent like you might think like you might be a people pleaser and think no one notices people notice and not only do they notice they take advantage of it i cannot tell you the amount of times when i was in high school there was people pleasers and people would be like just how far to do it, she'll do anything when you're a people pleaser is no, no one values your opinion no one cares what you have to say it's really harsh but it's true because like why would i care what you have to say? why would i ever care what you have to say when you agree with me and then also agree with someone who doesn't agree with me like you're all, you're for everybody which ends up meaning you're actually for nobody it's just not a good trait to have ever but even think about it for you as well would you t take advice or value an opinion of someone who isn't actually a person but is actually a sounding board who doesn't really have a backbone who just tells you what you want to hear no you wouldn't so why would anyone then respect you or value your opinion they won't that's the truth of it they might ask you things this is the thing as well you might think to yourself oh but i'm a people pleaser and i have lots of friends the reason people keep you around if you're a people pleaser is because you boost their ego i would love to have someone around me all the time that tells me yeah you're right you're this you're that, that like it's basically up your arse it's like it's nice it's like every, people want to hear it but it's fun at first but very quickly it becomes like oh you're a loser like you're actually a loser and no one will respect you i feel like the biggest pity of being a people pleaser that's like always stuck out to me is that you're actually robbing yourself of the luxury of getting to know yourself your morals and principles and standards and boundaries are part of what make you you and you're because you're never really like taking the time to like get to know yourself and you don't really have like you don't really have these things you're not really ever a person you're just kind of a sounding board and then I feel like it's really sad because then that stops you from like actually becoming comfortable with yourself and like liking yourself as a person at the end of the day the only constant you have in your life is you you enter this world alone you leave this world alone the people you're trying so hard to please who are they they're probably greater users like genuinely who are they like look what a girl you go to school with you want her to like you like why how does it actually affect your life if she does or doesn't like you she'll probably like you more if you're actually like if you're if you're strong and you're firm and you're like no i know for a fact the people i like the most and the people i respect the most are people who they say what they say and they meant what they said and they don't care how you take it being opinionated having a backbone being firm is so sexy you literally ooze confidence it's so liberating and freeing by not always being worried about what other people think of you for me like i'm so confident with myself as a person because at the end of the day like, like like i said the only constant you have is you like you spend the most time with yourself and i'm so okay with being alone because i actually like myself as a person i know who i am and i like who i am and i think that's the only person who should be worried about liking you is you do you like you the best thing as well when you're your own person you end up attracting people who actually like you for you and not just this character you're playing and it trying to please everyone would you rather not have like one or two people who genuinely like you for you who genuinely think you're a cool person who genuinely think you're funny and like your opinions matter than have like a hundred people who just like you because you agree with them what you're expecting is just impossible so how are you going to appeal to two people who are like the complete opposite of each other you can and when people realize that like oh you're for everybody like you try to like please everyone around you that's when nobody fucks with you because everyone is like you're just you're just a loser like you're literally just a greedy loser like, being a people pleaser seeps into every aspect of your life and it really really diminishes your confidence and it's really really sad the people you're trying so hard to make like you probably don't even like themselves so why would you care what they think of you you're already probably a really really cool person and at the end of the day like even if you end up having no friends like i know it's so easy for me to say but like even if you end up having no friends would you not rather that than rather just have people who keep you around for like the wrong reasons which is i promise you which is what is happening i don't i'm not really using any notes here i'm just kind of like freestyling so some of the things i'm not i'm saying might not like make sense but like i hope it translates well and a lot of people think that like when you're like an opinionated person that you're confrontational that's not it at all if you're being a people pleaser because you're trying not to like upset anyone because you might have like opinions and views and you, you might be actually like a really confident person but you just agree with people for the sake of like uh no conflict you don't like arguing or you don't want drama which i feel like is a is a connotation that like being opinionated has which i feel like is so silly being opinionated like i'm not gonna argue with everyone if you don't agree with what i'm saying you can have your opinion and i have my opinion and that's fine like i've met so many people in life that are like i disagree with you and i'm like and that's fine like, the minute you stop being a people pleaser and you release yourself of the shackles of appealing to everyone you've ever met 
I swear to you, you your life will completely change. I hate, I hate, I genuinely hate someone who's like, I, can, I mean, I can see both sides. I don't want you to see both sides. I want you to mind your own business. Like, I genuinely want you to, I don't want you to be on my side. I don't want you, like, first of all, an argument is between two people, fuck off, right? But like, have you ever been in an argument and then like, there's someone who's in the middle of it like, who's trying to play both sides? Like, no, but like, I can see her side. No, no, right. I want you, can you please mind your own business? Like, please shut the fuck up. I actually hate you more. Okay, there's this other kind of people pleaser that I've not really discussed in this video yet that I actually want to talk about, but there's usually a people pleaser and they, they're only trying to please one person. But I want you to like understand this, right? Because you're not any better than any someone who wants to please everyone. The people pleasers who want to please one person are probably the most grating. You know how like when you're whenever you're in high school, there's always like a bitch and there's always like a little sidekick. And her sidekick is always like, like I said, it's always the fucking people pleaser. It's always the I genuinely love the bitch more than I like the sidekick because with the bitch, at least you know you're, what you're getting. They're a bitch to your face. In high school, there was this girl. She was a bit of a bitch. I don't really get on with her. I just, I just don't really like her that much, right? Cool, whatever, right? But with her, one thing I liked about her is I knew what I was getting. Like, I knew she was a bitch and she, she stood on that. And I was kind of like, okay, fair enough. Because with me, it was like, I don't like you and you don't like me. Like, it's just fine. Like, we knew. Do you know what I mean? Like, we were, like, that was fine. But what I didn't like is she had this little sidekick. And this girl, I'm not even joking, I don't actually think she'd ever had an original thought that wasn't fed to her by this other girl. Like, it was embarrassing. Like, I was crippled with embarrassment when I was looking at her. And the weird thing is, right, whenever that other girl wasn't around, like, she was, like, pretty nice and blah, blah, blah. But I just didn't like her because I was like, I don't like you. Because, uh, like, I don't respect you as a person. I don't like you. But I, everything that this girl had like said to her, so let's call her, let's call, let's call it the bitch and the sidekick. Everything the bitch had said to the sidekick was law, right? So it was kind of like, it was like two, like I was seeing double. It was like, you're not a person. Like, I always felt like that was worse than someone who's trying to please everyone, but someone who's trying to please one person. Cause it's like, it's like I'm seeing double and it's like two annoying chihuahuas. But it's like, at least with this bitch, it's like, you know what you're getting like at face value. But with the sidekick, it's like, you... It's, it's, it's like weird because it was like when she was by herself, she was like pretty nice. She was a pretty chill girl. But it was like, it was clear that like everything about her had been formulated by like this bitch. And it was just like, oh my God, like I really didn't like it. Just be, be you, be you. I really hated the fact that this girl just didn't ever have opinions. Like it was always like what this girl thought of her. You might not think you're a people pleaser because you're only trying to please one person, but you're, you're still a people pleaser. Like if you're trying to please anyone, everything about you and every decision you make is because you're trying to appeal to someone and not because it's like what you truly believe. Babe, like I'm telling you, you're doing yourself a massive disservice, especially as an adult. Like as a teenager, it's like I understand how you can fall into that cycle of like being a people pleaser. As an adult, I'm going to need you to level up. I'm going to need you to like be confident. I'm going to need you to become your own person. I'm going to need you to become respectable. Anyways, I feel like I've been talking forever and because I don't really have any notes, it's kind of been like all over the place, but I hope this video made any sort of sense. And I feel like if you're a people pleaser who's watched this, I really hope you've taken away something at least because at the minute, like I said, the minute you free yourself from the shackles of appealing to everyone, you are going, it's, it's such a freeing feeling. You're going to become so much more comfortable in your own skin. You're so cool. You're so sexy. You're so funny. You're so much to offer in this world. And when you're being a people pleaser, you're also restricting yourself. Yeah, I've been talking for so long. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but I'll see you guys next week. I love you.